Hi there, welcome to my new hobby channel. Today we're going to start painting the models from Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer Connection. To begin, we'll begin painting up the Stormcast Eternal Night Encounter in the traditional Hammers of Sigmar style. I've already primed this model with grey after watching a video by Dana Howell where she says that the slap chop method which we'll be using in this series can work just as well with grey prime and white dry brush as doing a black prime with grey dry brush followed by a white dry brush. We'll be testing that today. To begin with I'll dry brush this model with titanium white. Once the white dry brush is dried it's time to move on to the main painting. I'll be using Army Painter Speed Paint 2.0 series. To begin with I use High Lord Blue for the Cloak of the Night Encantor. I try to be as careful as possible but there are paints we will be fixing up later. The points we will fix up later. Sorry. <laughs> it's also important to remember when using this technique that this paint needs to be applied thick enough to run into the recesses. After the robes, I take out my crusader skin. This is for the face and hands, the only skin visible on this model. After the skin, we use golden armour. This will be used to do all the armour of this model, as well as the top of the staff. It is worth noting that the metallic speed paints don't function the same way as other speed paints. However, they work great for one coat coverage. Next on the list is blinding light. This one doesn't show up very well over the grey and white, but I use it all to hit the parts that will be white, mainly under the sleeves and the back of the cloak. After the white, I use the lot yellow, which I forgot to show, to do the hair and part of the staff, as well as the sword scabbard. Ruddy Fur is used next, and this is for the book cover on the Night Encanter's belt and the pouch on their back. Next we have some polished silver which is used on part of the staff handle, the hilt of the sword and the ends of the scroll on the belt. Slaughter Red is next on our list. It is used for the rest of the staff handle and the ribbon around the book as well as the gem on the staff itself. Quick use of Magic Boy now for the magical orb attached to Night Encanter's belt. Bony Matter is used on the scrolls and then back to Golden Armour to trim the ropes.
Brunette Grey is used on the rocks on the base and then we'll also use Ruddy Fur on the dirt. This completes the use of all the speed paints on the model after going over the ropes with some more High Lord Boy just to tidy things up a bit. Next up we're going to use Citadel's Corax White in order to make the white parts a little bit brighter. I do attempt to do a little dab on the eyes but I really need to work on my eyes a little bit so that's not the best. Agrax Earthshade is used to add shadows to the golden armour and bring out some more detail. Extra shades added on various parts of the model just to make things stand out a little bit more as well. Evil Sun Scarlet, also from Citadel, mixed with a little of the Slaughter Red to give a slightly lighter highlight on top of the orb. And then the final step is to use the Auric Armour Gold, also from Citadel, and dry brush over raised parts of the armour to make them a bit shinier than the standard gold armour. And once again, here is the completed model. So I learned a lot about using these paints during the process of painting paint this particular model. I know where I need to improve and what I need to work on. I'd also like to apologise for bad camera angle most of the video. It's my first painting video so I'll be tweaking things as the videos go on, try to get things perfect. And as for playing with grey, I'm not completely sold on it. It could be that the grey that I used was a bit light because it felt like the white highlights didn't show up much. In the future I may try with a darker grey um, when I get one, but for now I'm going to return to priming with black and then do a two step dry brush on my models. Hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.